Hi, I'm Tucker. I'm 10 years old, and I'm from Rochester, New York. He's, he's a good boy, uh, and uh, watching him have a good time it just brings uh, tears to my eyes. Yeah, me too. And he was in the zone, man. Oh, yeah. I started, my dad's been hunting since I was born. And when I was born, he was glad that I was a boy because he said I, that he had a hunting buddy. Yeah? So I think that's why I hunt. To be a hunting buddy with dad. Well, that's the best part of hunting, I think, is yeah. time with dad. Just see the fur fly. Oh man. You totally hard shot that deer. Oh, that's a point on point master block too. <laughs> oh man. Alright, I'll break that camera. What just happened? I shot a 14 point deer. I shot a 14 point deer. Don't get to say that every day. Look at that, bud. Damn. Oh, oh, that's brown fur and some white. That's, that's good stuff. What do you think, huh? All right, you ready to go do some blood trailing? Oh, my, yeah. Oh, look up there in that leaf. Blind man can track that one. Oh, my God, is that a beast. Come on, buddy. We got a leaf stuff Wow. Look at that shot, Tucker. He yeah, had all kind of character going on, doesn't he? Yeah, it's an absolute gorgeous buck. Beautiful You got more points on that one tine than I'm used to. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that guy. 15. 16? 15. 15. Yeah. What I think is awesome is three generations. Right, Gramp, Dad, and now Tucker, the first deer. Yeah. And what do we think of the dragon claw? Oh, well, that, that, uh, the dragon claw is nice, but that air bolt that we used, it just, I never see anything like it. I've been hunting. I've been hunting for uh, 30 years with the bow, and never seen a hard shot. You don't. It just blasts right through. It goes through a deer so quick we don't even get blood on the arrow. <laughs> it's crazy. The tip is gone and all the all the blades are gone. I think that arrow was going so fast when it hit the ground it blew them blades right off of there and the tip. But if you are using the uh, air gun, it's a good tip to remember, this arrow is dry as a bone. There's nothing on the fletching, there's nothing on the arrow, there's nothing on the rod, there's nothing. It looks like it come out of a box, yeah. other than it's broke that's a, a little shot. bit on the front end. But That's a hard shot. It's a what hard shot. With, it's there's exactly no blood right. on a hard shot arrow. So that's if you crazy. are ever using that air gun, be sure that you do a follow up because this looks like a miss, but as you see right there, it's a dead deer. He went 35 or about 40 yards. It is crazy. I've never seen anything like it either. And of course, it's new technology for me too. In fact, Tucker shot a deer before me, and not just a deer, but look at this thing, folks. This is a giant buck. Uh, thanks to Bob White and Ron Boy here at High Point Hunting. I think it was going so fast it was cooking itself right off of there. <laughs> of course, we got to thank Dave at Hands of a Sportsman and the United Bow Hunters of Pennsylvania. They're the ones that sponsored this hunt. So they're the superheroes behind us. Absolutely. I found it very inspirational. I think Tucker's a great kid, and uh, hopefully you. some other people watching this. Don't put limitations on your kids, That's right, right? right? Even if they're disabled, he's a regular kid. So get him out there, get him in the field, and can uh, can they it. can do it. This was a magical weekend for us, so thanks. Well, thanks, thank everybody. You for, uh, thank you for all you did. If you can do it, anybody Maybe can, right? Maybe that'll inspire people. Maybe.